Okay, welcome back. I uh, closed the other window we were working with. I'm back to the um, labels. So you click label the uh, options, and uh, we had created a before a custom test two. So basically, we want to see the details, and I kind of changed my mind about um, having it work this way. And in fact, let me just simply explain this real quick, just to give a little. A uh, better idea of how it's going to work. So we're going to have our age and uh, oh, I'm putting these dots here for a reason, which you will see. the The width of the entire page is 8.5 inches, 8.5, and this section over here and this section over here are, of course, the margins, and they're one fourth of an inch. One four. So basically, that's kind of removes that five basically, and what you got left is uh, the eight inches. So uh, when you split it in half, you will have four inches over here and four inches over here, and that's basically a, a very basic setup for a label, where you'd have it by uh, four by one. So what you might have over here is for example the, the barcodes, uh, the UPC and the, the product identification number and what you might have over here is maybe a, a serial number or something uh, at password access. So you can't really have two labels on the, the same document as far as I know. I'm, I'm very much a noob and I, I could be corrected on this but um, essentially one thing you can do is set up labels on one side only right with the UPC and the product number and print it for this column only and you can quite easily do that you say just uh, one uh, column to have it print for this one Again, you'd have a new Microsoft Word document, except you'd have the margin, instead of being one-fourth of an inch, you'd have it go, basically, from here to here. So that includes the one-fourth and the four-inch. So, in total, you got 4.25 as a margin, and you would get the, the same result. So anyway, I hope you understood that quick explanation, and I would, must have wasted a lot of time explaining that. So let's get back. Alright, so I'm going to create one with the UPC and the product number on it, mm, just for the example. So as we can see, we have that there, and now we're going to go back to our mailing section. We're going to click uh, select recipients and use an existing list. And th this is kind of a manual way to do it. You can use a, a mail merge wizard to go through it step by step, but I choose to do it manually. So use an existing list and we'll find our um, Excel sheet that we created. So we select, of course, in the Excel worksheet, there are multiple uh, sheets in there want to label them in, in uh, for industry. Now, right now it's being used and I can't open it even in read-only mode since it's being accessed here. But um, essentially, you, you, you'd see on the bottom of the Excel sheet these three sections and we put our data in sheet one and you could rename the sheet. It, it's probably good practice. So here, now we can insert uh, a merge field and these represent the column numbers of what we're basically working with. So for the left side again, I want UPC and the product number. Okay, so this is quite easy to do. Let's have it center on the page and insert the UPC. And you'll see UPC there. Go we'll enter it twice and you'll see why in a moment. Then we insert the product number again, doing it twice. Now, here's the trick. UPC is going to be in the barcode font. So let me find it here. Three, three of nine. There we go. 
and product number here free 309 there we go if you notice something there's something very fishy going on with these characters and this is very important this will screw you up if you don't fix this problem this is this last character here is not part of the UPC data it's the new line character if you ever click this button right here on Microsoft Word it's called the format button it basically shows you all the different things that's going on in the background so as you can see this indicates a new line character means meaning uh, when Microsoft Word is reading this data it knows when to go to the next line so we can't have this read as a barcode so we turn that back into a aerial format it really doesn't matter what specific one it's going to read as a blank in every other format except for UPC so change that back to aerial and of course um, the star is also seen as a part of the barcode at the beginning and the end. Oops, yeah, there we go. So that's perfectly fine. We'll go back to our mailings tab. This is where we do everything and we can preview the result. And, huh, that's odd that it, it didn't translate the TK number. Give me one moment. Okay, in returning to the Excel sheet, um, really stupid mistake on my part. Uh, see if you can pause the video for a second and spot what it is. So, as you notice, all of these, you can see the uh, TK shown. On this one, no, that is because the actual letters T and K are capitalized. So, easy fix in a sense, so just give me a moment. Okay. Now that that's all done and saved and recorded, we can return back to the document. And I'm going to say this is, I'm going to name this uh, labels standard. All right. And I had to uh, close this document because it's accessing the Excel sheet and you can't have two things accessing uh, one file. Yeah. Sometimes it depends, but anyway. So let's go back to our preview and we can see that TK uh, went away. So it's fixed. So, and recall that this here is the star value in ASCII. All right, so from here, basically uh, just, uh, I believe in the wizard, it um, up, you can click this button and basically that will update the rest of the fields for you for some reason I, I don't find it doing that for me for some reason maybe uh, I'm not used to Office 2007 yet but anyway let me see now almost at the end of the next video so we need to insert a rule called next record and what this is going to tell it it's going to tell it to look for the next record in the Excel sheet and essentially all we do is we copy and paste that uh, oh. let's see copy and then we can just highlight the rest and paste um, actually there is one thing uh, you, you would uh, of course uh, identify this so uh, let's uh, left it and oh well actually we left the barcode and we don't want the space in as a barcode we want it as a normal blank space all right so from here we put a UPC and you can see how this font has to be raised to like uh, 24 while well, this one should be shortened to about 8 and that'll help things out now y you might have to uh, keep clicking preview in order to see it at a good size alright we're almost up on this video sorry to make this a half an hour tutorial I'll make a quickie a one later on alright bye